Okay, so let's see if we can make these uh, uh, words that we have in the word list here uh, available as a global property uh, for rules. Uh, to do this, I'm gonna just show you going into configuration workflow rules rules devel info <clears throat> and then the entity properties. Here we can peek at this site, uh, well, non-entity, and see that here we have all the stuff that is uh, globally available for rules, all, all the data that is globally available, provided from this site colon uh, current user, for example. And we can see that uh, this current user thing, this is a, um, a data of the type user, and uh, that means that rules interpret it as a user object and, and expect some things with it. We want to add something to this list. The, this uh, we want to add this list of words. So we're gonna alter this um, site property here. And it's not obvious that we uh, what what function we should use to do this. But uh, this is the entity property entity property info. Uh, hook or something and we want to alter this so we're going to implement hook entity property info alter nice <clears throat> and this isn't actually a rules function it's something that's managed by rules but by the entity module so we, I'm going to put this right in the uh, rules coding dot module not in the rules coding rules include module where we put rules specific stuff that is only called when rules is used because this might be used even if rules isn't invoked. Okay, so I'm scrolling down here. Uh, let's uh, type a new function. Function uh, rules coding. What do we have? Our entity property info. Entity property info alter. And if you're if you don't know what kind of things you get to this function, you can always try hook entity property info let's alter and if you have a nice coding environment you'll uh, uh, get the uh, well you, you can browse to ah okay browse to the uh, declaration of this function let's see if I can find it and it is property in info alter uh, here it is. Okay, so it takes one parameter by uh, reference. So let's do that here as well. Rules coding enter property info alter, and we have info here like that. And we could here DPM print out the info if we wanted to peek at it, have a look at it. Uh, but I can tell you that what we will get is this list here, so we can look at this directly. And here we want to alter the site thing here. So let's let's do that. Info site, and then inside site here, we want to change something in the properties. Oops, properties. And here we have what are these eight different properties already? We want to add another one, and let's call that uh, rules coding. It's always good to prefix with your module name, and then what word list maybe equals, and then here's the trick and uh, the tricky thing here. Now we add a new property to the site non-entity uh, we call the new property rules coding word list and now we should describe it let's have a look at what these uh, existing properties looks like uh, it has a label description a getter callback and sanitize here hmm okay, label description seems pretty straightforward let's try that label uh, let's call it a global word list or something. Description. The global word list provided by rules coding module. Nice. Always wrap 
these kind of, of texts in, in, with the T function, of course, to to make them translatable and make them uh, safe from hack, hacking attempts and things. And, and then here is something interesting. It says getter callback. This uh, uh, appears to be a function that gets this property or get the, get uh, this uh, data thing here. Let's try actually this one instead. Uh, label description, get your callback type here. <clears throat> okay, so well, we will need a function that returns this uh, this data and and provides it to to the entity module. But first, I'm going to start with this type thing here, telling rules or entity uh, module what uh, type of data we are providing. And we are obviously providing a list of words here, but let's see what that might map against looking at the data types available uh, to, to rules. Let's, let's just start by here adding type should be something and let's see what we get here. Data types click and we have here a number of different things and this one appears to be nice. List text this is a list of text and an array of, of things. So that is just what we got. So let's let's use that one. List text. Okay, and then finally, getter callback should be something. Let's let's see what it looks like here again in the entity properties. Site properties. Let's look at the URL maybe. And and well, this is just the name of a function. Uh, I happen to know. You, you could probably figure that out by looking at this. Uh, so um, let's uh, make a function that returns this uh, uh, that returns this list of words. Then get a callback. I'm going to call it rules coding get words something like that. Okay, let's hear function rules coding get words. This is a function that should return the words that are stored as this property in the global site entity, non entity. And you can see if you look at the code up here that the words are stored in the variables table with this name. So let's just do it like this. Uh, return variable get useful command useful function in in Drupal this and if we don't have it set just return an empty array so we have a default fallback here as well and that should be it um, let's uh, let's see if this works if I clear the cache here now Okay, entity properties, site properties, and we have now rules coding word list that has some information here. Okay, and let's let's head over to rules as well and double check that this works. Uh, let's uh, I don't know. Let's use a new component. Yeah, condition set or that's nice. Just make it a temporary thing here. Continue. And we can try data comparison just to drill down into something. Site word list. Here it is. Seems nice. Um, okay. Uh, that means that we have now managed to get this list of words available and well recognizable to rules. And that's what we wanted to do in this exercise. Nice. Let's move on to the next one. See you.